Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Aish. Today we are going to discuss about how to serve static assets with an efficient catch policy. A step by step approach. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and give your feedback. If you test your site on Google PageSpeed Insight tool, then probably you may get the error serve static assets with an efficient catch policy. Before getting into this video, I want to mention you one thing. You can't have control over the resources which are from the external domain. You can set the catch policy only for the resources from your own hosted domain. You can't set the catch control policy for the external domain. If you get the errors from the external domains for serve static assets with an efficient catch policy, then you have to think about whether the uh, resources is needed for your website or you can remove it or you can host locally. Okay, so we can. So in this video, we are going to see how to serve static assets for an efficient catch, catch policy for static assets which are hosted on your domain. Please note it. Let's verify first your resources are using catch control header. For this, you have to check the catch control of the resources. So in order to verify it, open the Chrome browser and load your website and press Ctrl Shift plus J. This opens the Chrome developer tools. Open the network tab and check the size in the size column. Here you could get three values, disk catch, memory catch and some values in KBs. If it is a disk catch means you have set the uh, catch control policy efficiently for that resources. The browser has catch the catch the resources in its memory. So whenever the website is opened again in that same browser, it will load the resource from its catch, not from the server. If it is a memory catch, means it's temporarily stored the resources. Once the browser closed, once the browser is closed and if we open the file. Oh, I open the browser again and load the loaded the website. Um, it will again fetch it from the server instead of catch. It is a temporary catch. Once the browser is closed, the memories are refreshed. So, and the next thing is some values in KBs. It is the catch policy is not set for this resource. So you can check this by. Click on the link. If you click on this link, you can see the response header, the catch control. If it is not set, here it, the value is set, maximum age, and it is in seconds. It could be, uh, if it is a static resources, it could be for up to one year. Whereas if it is a dynamic resources, depending upon the type of the resource, you can uh, set the values for um, five minutes to one day 24 hours so uh, check the catch control header and if it is not set properly then it's time to set the catch control for the resources there are three ways to set the catch control for the resources through HTT access and through CDN and through plugin Depending upon the type of server you are using, if it is an Apache server, you can use this code on your htaccess file to set the ex catch expiry date for all the resources. It, for image resources, for text, for application, for JavaScript, for CSS file, any of the thing you can set the um, header, catching header for through htaccess file. You can also set the browser catch expiration through CDN, especially if you use Cloudflare, then you can log into Cloudflare account and you can see catching and browser catch version. You can set the cat browser catch version uh, expiration to minimum one year. 
and the last thing is you can access you can use the set the browser catch using plugins like w3 total catch or wp rocket uh, anything any other things that's your wish if you use w3 total catch then you can go on to general settings and click browser catch enable and i'm remembering you again you can fix leverage browser catching for resources only hosted on your main server if the resources is a third party resources then you have to think whether the resources is needed for your website or you can host them locally and add the browser caching for the particular resources okay i hope you learn new things from this video and if you find it useful please subscribe to my channel like like share and give your feedback and follow me on linkedin and twitter see you on another useful video until then this is ish